hello folks so in this video i'm going to cover nlp topic called lemmatization which is kind of similar to uh, you know stemming yet totally different lemmatization is different from stemming in a sense that it just takes a best guess of uh, where to cut the word uh, from based on how it looks okay uh, lemmatization on the other hand is more calculated process i will explain uh, the difference between stemming and lemmatization in detail as well as a uh, complete understanding of when do we use stemming as well as when can we use lemmatization in nlp model building so watch this video till the end to get complete details This is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite uh, digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build the AI based products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to, to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. So lemmatization unlike stemming uh, deduces a word grouping together different forms of the same word. In lemmatization a root word is called lemma. A lemma uh, which has a plural, uh, plural form as lemmas or lemmata is the canonical form okay citation form or dictionary form of a set of words in order for a lemmatization to resolve a word to its lemma it needs to know its part of speech which actually requires actual uh, extra computational linguistic power such as a part of speech tagger and that's the whole reason lemmatization resolves a word to its lemma in a better way for example resolving is the word is and are to the word be okay or to the form uh, be okay or in simple words i can say that verb uh, verbs in past past tense are changed into present okay example went is changed to go and synonyms are unified example best is changed to good hence standardizing words with similar meaning to their root so the important thing is that uh, lemmatization requires a part of speech tagger okay although it uh, seems closely related to the stemming process lemmatization uses a different approach to reach the root forms of words let me take one more example here the words uh, caring and cares uh, in fact caring cares and cared are all forms of word care so care is the lemma of all the previous words whereas in case of stemming caring becomes car okay so that's the difference between these two because uh, lemmatization is using part of speech tagging here that's why it is giving you a right form or right lemma lemmatization also takes into account consideration uh, the context of the word which means it can discriminate between identical words that have different meanings depending upon the specific context so think about words like punch which can correspond to drink as well as to hitting someone okay then we have another word uh, like right which can be used for direction like right or left as well as for decisions like right and wrong so in a nutshell lemmatization is much more resource intensive task than performing a stemming process also it requires more knowledge about the language structure than a stemming approach it demands more computational power as well than setting up or adapting a stemming algorithm so let's move on to the python code for lemmatization please note that python nltk provides word net 
lemmatizer that uses the WordNet database to look up lemmas of the words. So let me open my Jupyter Notebook real quick here. Okay. So in the first cell, I am importing WordNet lemmatizer, which can which you can see here. And this is a class from NLTK.stem package. And uh, in the next line, I'm creating an object of WordNet lemmatizer here. Okay, so you, this line, in this line, I'm just creating an object of WordNet lemmatizer. Okay, and I just stored uh, it into this variable word lemmatizer. After that, I created a sample sentence uh, in order to play around uh, and the sentence is uh, although Sam has long feet yet he opted for better option in his game in this game he asked Gloria how it was made okay so in the next cell I first tokenized uh, the sentence into words using this sentence so you can see the word tokenize I'm using here I'm passing this sample sentence as an argument okay and then I used a for loop, okay, for uh, basically to go over each of the word in the tokenized word list. So this is the word list, tokenized word list, and I wanted to go over each and every word, okay. So that's why I used a for loop here, okay. This sentence is nothing but I'm just uh, creating some headings here. So first heading is actual word, uh, actual word. So first this represent the actual word and the second uh, column represents the lemma associated with this word or the lemma form of the actual word all right so if in case you don't know the usage of this dot format uh, let me tell you about the same so dot format is one of the string formatting methods in python 3 which allows multiple substitutions okay and uh, uh, value formatting so multiple substitutions and value formatting this method lets us concatenate basically the elements within a string to positional formatting so here numbers these numbers within the braces depicts alignment codes okay so that's what I'm doing here I'm just iterating over each and every word in this tokenized word list and then I'm creating the word lemmatizer here so this column is a word lemmatizer uh, the lemmatized word of actual word and this column is actual word so this is the actual word which is represented by this and this is the this lemma column is the lemmatized word okay so when i ran this cell let me see what is the output here. You, you can already see the output here. Okay. So you can see the output here. Now you might be wondering why there is no actual root form given by any word. So although is although here Sam is Sam, long is long. Okay. Uh, feet is changed into foot. Yet is yet. He is he opted is opted so majorly most of the words are not changed at all okay and basically the words are not lemmatized to the actual root form okay and the reason for that is that because we have mentioned we haven't mentioned any part of speech tagging here okay that's why it came as just like that just as it is only okay so if I make a tweak little bit in this <clears throat> so i just passed another argument here which is part of a speech and here we represent verbs okay so when i ran this particular code once again providing an additional argument which is part of a speech equals to v v is verb then you can see a very well changes with the verb uh, with the words which has some verb form okay so you can see has is changed as have whereas earlier it was not changed i think it was ha right so has has been changed so has is a verb form of the word so it has been changed to have okay 
and then update is changed to opt then what else uh, you can see made the word made which is a verb form again is changed to make okay and was was changed as b you can see very well again ask just changes ask okay so you can very well see that the word got lemmatized to his actual word okay uh, keeping in mind the part of speech as well okay now the million dollar question comes when do we use stemming and when do we use lemmatization okay well it actually depends upon the application you are building which can govern whether stammer should be used or the lemmatizers should be used if speed is of prime importance then stemming should be used otherwise a lemmatizer can be used in place of that because lemmatizers can scan a corpus which consumes both time and processing okay so if you are building a language application in which language is a uh, language is important then you should use lemmatization as it uses a corpus to match root forms okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude i introduced and explained lemmatization uh, in this video and also explain when do we use stemming and when should we use lemmatization so let me ask you a question from today's video what is the most commonly used lemmatization class in nltk please post your comment in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section i will be glad to answer your questions if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button and in case you have already subscribed then uh, click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you